OK, so let's say I want to find the inverse function f minus 1 of x of each of these seven functions. So let's start with number 1. f of x is equal to 1 third x minus 7. So we first of all write y is equal to 1 third x minus 7. Swap the x's and y's. And then rearrange to get y equals. So we're going to add 7 to both sides to start off with. And then I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. So y is equal to 3x plus 21. So that means that the inverse function is 3x plus 21. OK? And that is the first inverse function um, for number 1. So, number 2. Number two, we've got x cubed plus 1. So y is equal to x cubed plus 1. Swap the x's and y's. Then rearrange it. So y cubed is going to be x minus 1. And so y would be the cube root of x minus 1. So the inverse function is the cube root of x minus 1. Now remember, when you're taking a cube root, you don't bring in a plus minus like you would for a square root. OK? Otherwise, we would have problems on our hands because then the inverse function wouldn't be a function. OK? So we need to be aware of that. We can't have the inverse function leading to two values. So f of x is equal to 1 over 2x plus 3. So y equals 1 over 2x plus 3. Swap the x's and y's. I'm then going to rearrange this by multiplying both sides by the 2y plus 3 and dividing both sides by the x. So 2y plus 3 must be 1 over x. Subtract the 3 from both sides and then divide both sides by 2. Now, you could write that as a half of 1 over x minus 3, if you like, OK? Um, or 1 over 2x minus 3 halves, whichever you prefer. And then the inverse function is like that, OK? And so that is uh, number 3. So number four, f of x is equal to 2 to the x. OK. So first of all, y equals 2 to the x. Now I'm going to replace the x and the y. Oh, sorry, swap the x and the y, like so. I now need to get y equals. Now the only way to do that is to introduce logarithms. So if I take logs of base 2 of both sides, Okay, then the y can come down to the front here. And log base 2 of 2 is just 1. So y is equal to log base 2 of x. So that is your inverse function. Okay. Right, so next one. Number 5, e to the 3x plus 5. So y is equal to e to the 3x plus 5. Swap the x's and y's. Then, in order to get rid of the e, I'm going to have to log both sides base e. So ln x. And ln of e to the 3y plus 5 will just be 3y plus 5. I could have also done that step immediately for the previous example as well. So when you log base 2, 2 to the x, or 2 to the y rather, it would just be y. OK, you could just do that. Um, but I wanted to show you using the log laws that it works in the same way as it does here. So then subtract 5 from both sides. And then divide both sides by 3. 
Okay, so that means that the inverse function of x is a third ln x take away 5. Okay, so that's number 5. So number 6, we've got ln of 2 minus 6x. So y equals ln of 2 minus 6x. First of all, swap the x's and y's. Now, in order to get rid of the ln, the log, I'm going to e both sides. So e to the x is equal to 2 minus 6y. I'm going to add the 6y to both sides and subtract the e to the x from both sides. And then I can divide both sides by 6. So the inverse function of x is 1 sixth 2 minus e to the x. Okay, and that's number 6. So finally, number 7, we've got f of x is equal to 1 over e to the x plus 3 take away 1. So first of all, y is equal to 1 over e to the x plus 3 take away 1. Swap the x's and y's. Okay. Now, I'm going to multiply both sides by this denominator and divide both sides by x. So e to the y plus 3 take away 1 is now 1 over x. I'm going to have to add the 1 to both sides, like so. Now, in order to get rid of the e, I'm going to have to ln both sides, log both sides, base e. So y plus 3 is equal to ln of 1 over x plus 1. And then subtract the 3 from both sides. So the inverse function of x is ln 1 over x plus 1, subtract 3. And that's how you can get it for number 7.